Good morning, everyone. We are at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, one of our gyms right here in Cleveland. As you guys know, the, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony was a little bit different this year. We're going to talk about that. Also, when you come to the Rock Hall, you can see they still have their little social distancing arrows. So it's still a great place to come visit and check out the new stuff, which is what we're going to do right now. And through the magic of TV, just look who's right there. Walk on good morning. Good morning. Gee, you're right by the new inductees exhibit. Yes. How crazy is that? Yeah. And to remind people, here they are. Here they are. Yes, we are in the Donna Cole Gallery for our new inductees and mm -hmm. really happy to celebrate performers. And we also have, you know, multiple categories yeah. that are celebrated. Um, we also have the Ahmed Erdogan Award. OK, um, but we are going to get into these performers here. Um, yeah. One of our first displays, we're standing right here in front of Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. Um, so honored that we have her as an inductee this year. What we're looking at, one of my favorite pieces in here, is actually this beautiful studded um, multicolored coat, which she wore in her music video, My Name Is Not Susan. <laughs> <laughs> um, a huge hit in 1990, and she also wore this on her uh, tour in 1990 as well, I'm Your Baby Tonight World Tour. Um, so we're happy to have this Mark Bauer actually design mm -hmm. this. He was one of her more favored designers. Okay, cool. Um, in addition to this, we have a letter written from um, Clive Davis to Whitney Houston, dated for 1987, right to highlight here, right next that to, yeah. second album, Below, which is where we get I Want to Dance with Somebody. Yeah. And, some of the most seminal hits that we hear from and 220 Houston. million you said 200 million albums 200 sold million. worldwide wow. it's absolutely amazing and people are people so why should it be people are people <laughs> the patch mode over the here the mode here yeah. we go we're standing right in front of Martin Gore's display here in this exhibit um, he was one of the or he is uh, one of the lead singers and guitarists mm -hmm. for the group um, this mini Moog actually he played 1989 and won an award just last year for amazing innovations on this instrument. Wow. I mean, the Moog, if anyone has knows anything about music is- And synthesizers, you, that's synthesi it. This yeah. is it right here. Have to point out this amazing H track. 1989, it still holds and contains um, the live backing tracks from really? that tour in 19. So you're talking about people are people? Yep. It's right there. On there. It's no on here. way. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, there are just some amazing um, things. The test print for that poster, um, their world tour, world violation tour. Yep. I mean, Gosh, I went to that tour. Oh, you did? Or you <laughs> yeah, wish? I did. Oh my God. Yeah. That's oh amazing. God. I mean, well, that's what really catapulted yep. them into the mainstream. Yep. So wow. we have some amazing things that are foundational to this group's success including this iconic star guitar, which is also played by Gore. Yep. Um, and okay. he played this up until two, uh, 2019. Um, so we have, it's great for us to have it. Oh, yeah. We're oh, here yeah. at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, hanging out with the, uh, in the new inductee yeah. exhibit, hanging out with Wonka, Rock and Roll. Okay, when we come back, yes, right. we, have, <laughs> we have some more stuff to show you. And we'll talk about some other stuff. It's really, really neat. Okay, back to you guys and to the, you two rock stars. Ah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 